I'm Rochelle, and this is episode 154 of the Genuine Realtor Show, which airs every Friday. Hamilton is the third largest city in Ontario, and if you're new to the area, Hamilton's setup might leave you confused. This week, I'm sharing some insights to help you gain your bearings. Ready? Let's go. The Hammer, City of Waterfalls, Steel Town, or the Electric City. Whatever you choose to call it, this once mid-sized city amalgamated five of its neighboring municipalities back in 2001 to create this supersized city which now encompasses nine outlying towns, collectively known as the Regional Municipality of Hamilton-Wentworth. With a mix of old world charm from Hamilton's deep roots and a focus on the future, Hamilton is currently experiencing a gentrification trend that is pushing the city forward and forming a new identity. Founded in 1816 and named after George Hamilton, who purchased land after the War of 1812, this city has a rich history that I'm excited to explore with you in upcoming episodes, so be sure to click that subscribe button. If you're new to Hamilton, you might hear reference to the mountain, and if you're coming from anywhere that actually has mountains, you'll find our reference laughable. But here, it's a distinguishing feature that Hamiltonians use to explain locations. For instance, people will say, I live on the mountain, or I live in the lower city. It's not actually a mountain, but it is the Niagara Escarpment, a UNESCO World Biosphere Reserve, and the reason Hamilton has the nickname City of Waterfalls, as there are more than 100 to explore. In fact, I can take you on a tour of some of the waterfalls in another episode, so be sure to check that out. Now let's get started in the community of Waterdown, which as you may have guessed from the name, is home to a beautiful ribbon waterfall known as Smoky Hollow. Perched on the edge of the escarpment, Waterdown is a hybrid town where they have their own facilities like the library, multiple shopping plazas, and the YMCA. But they are also close to both Burlington and Hamilton, so residents can capitalize on all of the local amenities. Founded in 1830, then amalgamated with Flamborough in 1974, and then again with Hamilton in 2001, Waterdown has managed to keep its village charm while being built out with new sprawling subdivisions. This is a picturesque town that is a mix of older homes and newer subdivisions being built to this day. In recent years, there has been a push for more density and we're seeing more condo high-rises, which will be changing the skyline of this community in the coming years. I'll be doing a deep dive on all of these communities in the coming weeks, so if you're enjoying the information, be sure to like the video, subscribe, and click the bell to turn on notifications so you never miss an episode. Now, since I mentioned Flamborough, let's cover it next. This rural area is another amalgamated community with more than 20 neighboring villages that have come together over the years. More recently, in 1974, East Flamborough, West Flamborough, Beverly, and Waterdown amalgamated to create the Flamborough Township. This community is set atop the Niagara Escarpment and is home to four of Hamilton's conservation areas. I am covering the local nature spaces in another series, so be sure to click the link if you're interested in exploring these phenomenally beautiful sanctuaries in the area. If we slide down the escarpment, you'll come to a vast area of protected wetlands belonging to the Royal Botanical Gardens, as well as the community of Dundas, our valley town. Small but mighty, the town of Dundas has a beautiful history of being an economic powerhouse around the turn of the 19th century. And while it was eventually surpassed by its neighboring Hamilton in terms of economic power, Dundas still holds much of that old world charm. Dundas is a town intertwined with nature and offers incredibly easy access to McMaster University and Hospital. It's also home to Dundas Conservation Area and the iconic Webster's Falls. Along with the historic and hillside homes, you'll also find some subdivisions of newer builds along the south corridor of the town. Now let's make our way out of the valley back up onto the escarpment where we come to the town of Ancaster. Founded in 1793, it was a very influential community and it grew into the second largest British Upper Canada settlement. 
But as transit shifted and the rail line was introduced, the economic power shifted to communities closer to the lake. Modern Ancaster is home to shops and abundance of nature, including many waterfalls, easy highway access, large homes on gorgeous lots, as well as more modern and many sprawling subdivisions. These days, there's a movement of infill housing where the older homes are being replaced with larger modern homes. But who can blame them when you're tucked in to the nature of the Niagara Escarpment? Now that we are up on the mountain, the city of Hamilton comes out a fair way into the countryside, but just a bit further west, you'll find Glanbrook, a large community that was formed in 1974 when Mount Hope, Binbrook, Glanford, and a few other communities amalgamated. Now it's one of the fastest growing communities here in Hamilton as Binbrook and Mount Hope continue sprawling out into the countryside with new subdivisions. Most of these communities are a fair distance to the highway, but offer an escape from the hustle and bustle of being inside the main city limits. Having been deforested by settlers, this area was too harsh for much of the fragile fruit that flourishes at the base of the escarpment, but it was perfect for food crops. Then, this open space transitioned into the perfect place for the Royal Canadian Air Force to build an airfield for training in World War II. In 1971, it was handed over for civilian use, and in 1995, it was privatized and became the John C. Monroe International Airport. On site, there is also the Canadian Warplane Heritage Museum in two of the hangars. Glanbrook is also home to Binbrook Conservation Area, which is near the sprawling new build community of Binbrook and is home to a man-made reservoir designed to help mitigate flooding in the lower city. As you continue southeast along the outer edge of Hamilton, you come to Mount Albion and the Red Hill Valley Creek. The Red Hill Valley Parkway was a contentious build as it cut through fragile ecosystems which we can still enjoy hiking through, but without it there was only one highway access down the escarpment and a lot of traffic was forced into the more residential roads. And to the east of the Red Hill is the community of Stony Creek. Becoming a city in its own right back in 1984, Stony Creek is a community tucked between Lake Ontario and the Niagara Escarpment. It experienced rapid growth in the 1970s, transitioning the area away from predominantly agricultural into a mixed-use city. With easy highway access and most homes being less than 50 years old, it's a community of many facets. Historically speaking, the Battle of Stony Creek happened here during the War of 1812, where British forces surprised the American troops with an overnight attack. Another iconic location here is the Devil's Punch Bowl Conservation Area. It's also home to Confederation Park, which is a waterfront park space with paved waterfront trails, the water park, beach access, restaurants, and so much more. Oh, that about covers the gigantic area that is Hamilton and I hope it's helped you get your bearings and understand the city a little better. Now do subscribe and click that bell because I will be covering more of the communities in the weeks ahead as well as the pros and cons of Hamilton. So I would love for you to join me on those. Thanks so much for watching. Until next week, keep it genuine.